I'm Mac 11, and I'll tell you about problem E, which is evolution in parallel. This is a problem about distant future. So our scientists have found on a very distant planet a very strange kind of species, which has a genetic code consisting of three letters, A, C, and M. And there is only one kind of species on the planet, and we're given its full genetic code. But scientists also found some fossils of ancient creatures, and they're given here. They have a hypothesis that all those creatures descended from one single ancestor. But it didn't work out, because when they found this creature with a genetic code MM, it didn't fit well with the other fossils. So now they have a new hypothesis, that there were only two ancient predecessors of everyone, and the new species just merged from the evolution of those two. So in this example, the answer is that one ancient species is MM, and another one is A, and then everything else evolved from it. So how does the evolution work? It works by inserting letters into the genetic code. So it started with A, then another A was added, and then a C was added in the middle, and then an M, and then another A was added. So this is how it works. So the question is, are they right? Can we actually divide all those genetic codes into two groups so that there are sequences of strings and each string is a subsequence of the next one? And also check that each of them is a subsequence of the current genetic code. This can be solved uh, in two parts. First one is to check whether a string is a subsequence of another string, which is a very simple greedy algorithm, and you can probably figure out it from this picture. It works in linear time and the length of those strings. Another part is dynamic programming. We just sort all strings by increasing length, and then make a 2D dynamic programming where we determine whether strings up to SI can be divided into two subsequences so that SI and SJ are the last ones in those subsequences. This solution will work in time n squared by L, where L is the maximum length of a string. But unfortunately, this is too long for these world finals. So we should somehow optimize this solution. And one idea could be that we can avoid one of these cases and then the number of states of our DP will be much less. But this is not the case. So if you look at these examples and you look at the third string, it contains both, both the first one and the second one. But if you forget about one of them, like here, one of the cases is forgotten, then in these cases, one of these cases will break, basically. So what is the correct solution? We'll see that on the next slide. So, if the solution is even possible, then we can say that for any three strings, S, I, and J, and S, K, which are sorted by length, at least one of these pairs is a pair of a string, which is a subsequence of another one. So, for each I, we need only to remember one, only those J that can I, J is true, and we will see that only two such j are needed, no more. Why is that? Because we have three pairs, ij, ik, and il, and for example, sj is a subsequence of sl. Then il is not needed, because in the future, when we consider future strings, it will be much easier to fit sj into one of those than sl, because sj is a subsequence of sl. So out of these three, we will need only two, and it will be always the case because of this mm -hmm. statement. So. In our dynamic programming, we now only have linear number of states. And then the total writing time is n times L, which is sufficient to fit into time limit. Thank you.